Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is Achieve by AS. So friends, as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your problems as well as means. So in this video we will be talking about a series the, the name of which is let's solve some questions for prelims 2020. So as the name suggests so this series is about solving some questions from prelims perspective. So prelims 2020 is approaching so there are just five months remaining in it. So we will be uh, in this context we have started this series in which what we do we daily discuss some questions relating to prelims. So today is video number 30 and uh, we will be discussing today questions from the topic of environment and ecology so let's see what are the questions of today uh, so the first question is consider the following statements regarding mangroves first mangroves are generally poor uh, generally found in tropical and subtropical sheltered coastlines second the mangroves trees have high resistance to salinity stress and water logging third mangroves helps in increasing the fertility of coastal soil by blocking salinity ingress so we have to choose the correct answer so friends uh, uh, the answer is d that is all of these statements are correct so uh, they are basically found in tropical and subtropical regions and uh, along the coastlines so they are a kind of uh, ecotone between uh, the freshwater ecosystem and the marine water ecosystem so they have uh, a high resistance to salinity so also water logging is uh, uh, normally seen there and they are they are resistant uh, resistant to it as well also they help in preventing the ingress of uh, uh, the saline water to uh, to 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 ensure that the uh, the uh, the soil in the plains remains fertile so the answer is d so let's see what is the explanation so uh, there is little bit time that is being consumed why i don't know why it is taking time to get uh, uh, to get uh, uh, to get on the screen to come, come on the screen so the answer is d uh, statement 1 is correct so they are defined as assemblages of salt to tolerant trees and shrubs that grow in the intertidal regions of the tropical and subtropical coastlines and uh, then statement 2 is also correct and statement 3 is also correct so you can read the explanation by pausing the video because here it will consume a lot of time if we uh, started explaining uh, uh, each explanation line by line so you have the options to uh, to option to pause the video now let's move to the next question next is which of the following is are the examples of competition among species first fungus and algae in li uh, li lichens or lichens in tundra region uh, second cheetah and lions in savanna forest third takes over the body of cattle so we have to uh, choose the correct answer so let me tell you friends uh, that uh, the first statement is not correct because fungus and algae uh, in, in in basically in lichens they they are in symbiotic relationship so uh, first is not uh, first cannot be the part of it and third is the relationship of um, uh, paras parasitic relationship so competition is a type of uh, uh, relationship in which uh, two two species or two or more species compete with each other for the common resources so cheetah and lion in savanna forest is the correct answer so answer should be b second only so uh, here is the explanation so you can check the explanation uh, it is i don't know why it's taking time so but sorry for inconvenience so solution is b so competition is most typically in considered the interaction of individuals that vie for a common resource that is in limited supply so, but more generally can be defined as the direct or indirect interaction of organisms that leads to a change in the fitness when the organisms share the same resource so the outcome usually has negative effects on weaker competitors so statement one is incorrect because algae and fungus uh, have uh, they have symbiotic relationship in lichens so they benefit from each other and statement three is also uh, incorrect because ticks are ectoparasites uh, so there are two types of uh, parasites that is ecto and endo so endo are found in the body of the organism and ecto are uh, found on the uh, outside the body of the host uh, host uh, hope, uh, that that uh, that host species so ticks are eco ectoparasites living on the body of cattle to suck blood statement 2 is correct cheetah and lions are in competition to grab their prey have uh, uh, and they have overlapping prey resource uh, source 
so uh, this is about your second question now let's move to the next question next is uh, your uh, uh, consider the following statements regarding wetlands first it includes marshy areas flood plains and littorals second they are use, uh, useful for filtration of sediments and nutrients from uh, surface water third in india the area under paddy cultivation constitutes the majority of wetland area so we have to choose that which of the above statements is are correct so uh, we have to choose uh, about wetlands uh, so if you are aware of wetlands then uh, uh, this might be easy for you uh, because uh, uh, wetlands are basically these are marshy areas so they are uh, they 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 are also a type of ecotone uh, in in marine and <coughs> sorry friends in marine uh, in between marine and uh, freshwater ecosystem so they are they are combined of uh, marshy areas flood plains littorals and uh, because uh, mostly they are formed by the, uh, by the the river draining into the sea so uh, we are completely there is not complete merger uh, but there is somewhat uh, 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 flood plain and then uh, there is also some marshy area then that uh, that is called wetland so they are useful for filtration of sediments and nutrients from surface water so uh, basically they help in uh, filtration of sediments and then in india the area under the paddy cultivation constitutes the majority of wetland area so the answer is d uh, so let's see uh, what is the explanation of it uh, so explanation is a wetland is a place where the land is covered by water either salt fresh or somewhere in between so it is not necessary that wetland must comprise all these three components a wetland may be a salty wetland it may be a fresh wetland it may be uh, in between so they include mangroves peatlands and marshes rivers and lakes and deltas and flood plains and flooded forests and rice fields and even coral leaf reefs so wetlands exist in every country and in every climatic zone from polar regions to the tropics and from high altitudes to the dry regions so wetlands prevent flooding by holding much water uh, like uh, like a sponge so they they act as a sponge so uh, by doing so wetlands help keep river levels normal and filter and purify the surface water so when there is agricultural runoff so wetlands play an important role uh, so that the uh, that uh, the the uh, your uh, poor quality water doesn't uh, uh, get added into into the river or into the um, the the uh, the final uh, destination where the water goes uh, and the statement two is also correct because wetlands also clean the water by filtering out sedimentation decomposing uh, vegetative matter and converting chemicals into usable form so the ability of wetlands to recycle nutrients makes them critical in the overall functioning of earth so no other ecosystem is as productive nor as unique in this conversion process so in some places artificial wet wetlands were developed solely for the purpose of water purification so statement 3 is also correct because wetlands in india excluding rivers account for 18.4% of the country's geographic area of which 70% is under uh, paddy cultivation now let's move to the next question next is uh, which of the following pollutants is are uh, uh, correct uh, uh, about biomagnification first it refers to a tendency of pollutants to concentrate as they move from one tropic level to uh, another second long live mob, uh, long li uh, long live uh, mobile and fat soluble uh, pollutants lead to biomagnification third herbivores are most effect affected by biological uh, magnification so we have to choose the correct answer so let me tell you friends uh, that the answer is b that is one and two only because third is not correct so it is basically the carnivores that are most affected by the bi biological magnification so by magnification in short term and uh, first uh, is correct because it refers to the tendency of the pollutants to concentrate as uh, one moves from one trophic level to another because obviously uh, uh, the, the trophic level that is above uh, its prey base uh, it, it, it will obviously eat a large number of its prey uh, so uh, the the the, uh, the the pollutant that is concentrated in different uh, uh, in different uh, b b organisms of 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 a, of, a, of a trophic level that is below it then it would be certainly concentrated in the one that that is eating all that prey uh, and uh, and certainly this long live uh, mobile and fat soluble pollutants lead to my my biomagnification so they are fat soluble so they get uh, they don't uh, they don't uh, don't don't it get washed away uh, and they are not soluble in water so they they are thus stored in the body itself sorry uh, so the answer is b1 and 2 only 
so the statement uh, 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 obviously statement one and two are uh, correct and statement three is incorrect so you can check uh, the more explanation by pausing the video now let's move to the next question next is with respect to ecological succession consider the following statements first it is the process of change in the species structure of an ecological community over the time second in this climax community is succeeded by the pioneer community third it is characterized by increased niche development and complexity of food webs so which of the above statements is are correct so we have to choose that uh, so uh, friends uh, here this question is about ecological succession so it basically it is the process of change in the species structure of an um, ecological community over time so first, first is correct so in it uh, the climax community is succeeded by the by the pioneer community yes it is also correct and it is increased uh, it is characterized by increased niche development and complexity of food webs so third is also correct uh, but but second is not uh, correct here uh, sorry uh, let me uh, recall in this climax community is succeeded by the pioneer community so uh, uh, sorry this is wrong this second one is wrong basically it should be the pioneer community is succeeded by the climax community so there was a confusion sorry it, it, uh, uh, it, it uh, the statement has been wrongly written so the uh, answer is d that is one and three only so let's see uh, what is the explanation so here is it is basically a fundamental concept in ecology so in which uh, the, uh, the structure of a biological community evolves naturally over time through a sequential change of following a stable environment from a simple level of uh, organization to a more complex community because uh, as as the time evolves more and more organisms get uh, uh, they, 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 they 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 go to that particular ecosystem and uh, then it is a long term cumulative directional and largely predictable process of natural development of different communities at the same site in in a basically particular definite sequence so over a period of time so it is uh, quite determinable so such changes occur either in response to an environmental change or induced by the intrins intrinsic properties of the community itself so two types of uh, succession are there primary and secondary so they have been discussed distinguished so primary succession occurs essentially when when a lifeless area is occupied so regions in which the soil is incapable of sustaining the life is occupied and as a result of this uh, 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 as a result of various factors such as lava flows newly formed sand dunes or rocks and uh, second uh, secondary succession occurs when when there is already a particular community that is existing and it has been removed due to some uh, for example disturbance uh, for example if there is for uh, 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 forest fire then uh, then a community uh, the organ then a community is replaced but it doesn't eliminate all the life and nutrients from that particular environment so certain form of life will all uh, will will be there nutrients will also be there and then subsequent species will come and uh, uh, occupy that area so that is a type of secondary succession so statement 2 is incorrect so su succession continues uh, till a community develops uh, maximum equilibrium to the environment so uh, the answer here is d so friends uh, these are the five questions of today and if you like these questions then uh, uh, i hope then uh, that you will like our video and before closing the video let me tell you that friends we have various series uh, that are that are run by us uh, uh, here explanation is here you can pause the video so uh, various series are run by us for the purpose of completion of your syllabus in a time bound manner for example we have a brief history of modern india uh, series uh, that is a book authored by uh, uh, by Rajiv Ahir of Spectrum Publication. So we are completing it in 45 days and uh, and then we have Geography NCRT series, Indian Polity M MCQ series uh, that is based on the book of uh, M. Lakshmi Kant. So all these series what they do basically in these will give you a timetable. So you are uh, uh, you are basically given a timetable in which uh, each day uh, uh, a particular topic is allotted a particular day. So in this way in a time bound manner we cover your syllabus, uh, we cover your topics by, by allotting uh, allotting the day and then in and in the evening we take a test of few people for of 10 mcqs from that particular given target so this ensures that your syllabus is completed in a time bound manner because most of the students they are preparing from home so they are not in urban areas nowadays so uh, technology has changed a lot of uh, changed a lot and due to basically uh, this reason they are preparing from home and but the issue they face is the uh, lack of self discipline in the studies because they don't uh, focus upon 
their studies in a time bound manner they don't complete syllabus in a time bound manner but as the, the syllabus of upsc is quite fight then that problem of uh, non completion of syllabus in a time bound manner creates problem because uh, ultimately self confidence will only come when you will complete this your syllabus in a disciplined manner so once you complete your syllabus in a disciplined manner then obviously necessary confidence builds in you and other thing is that uh, merely reading is not enough because ultimately if you are reading ncrts or any particular book so uh, uh, what what differentiates you from a person who has the hobby of reading so basically the, the you are preparing for upsc and you must have to read from that perspective so that perspective only comes when you solve the questions so that problem uh, is solved by 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 solving the questions by practicing the questions and also then problem of revising multiple sources is uh, uh, solved because here uh, we will be in at the end of the uh, and uh, all the series we will be giving you a single compilation uh, of of all the mcqs that, that have been uh, asked to you so uh, that will carry in detail explanation so all important topics will be there in mcqs so that will ensure that uh, uh and uh, you do, you do last minute revision when your exam is near because uh, it is difficult to read bulky books uh, when particularly when your exam is very very close to you so obviously you can revise when you have time but when and when there when it comes to last minute revision then it can be taken only from a particular source that is comprehensive so that problem is also solved and also discipline preparation as i've told you gives you much needed self confidence and obviously as prelims is just 5 months away not only 6 months but it is 5 months so it is already Uh, end of december so you have just 5 months and then uh, uh, if you are waiting for anything then uh, we don't know what are you waiting for but uh, certainly it is the best time to start and cover your syllabus in a comprehensive manner and in a time bound manner so lastly friends before concluding this video uh, just one more thing uh, that is uh, uh, we have a telegram channel the link of which is shown on your screen so uh, this link is here uh, sorry just a minute just a minute just a minute so we have uh, Sorry, uh, it is the video has moved quite. Oh my God! Chalo, uh, leave it. Anyways, uh, we have a Telegram channel. Uh, so this tele on this Telegram channel, what we uh, do, uh, we share uh, resources for the purpose of CSC preparation, and also the PDF of these discussions is uploaded uh, uh, on uh, on 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 uh, this Telegram channel. So uh, here we have more than sixteen thousand students that follow us and have have access to various resources that we share for the purpose of CSC preparation. So if you do want to get access to those resources, then do ensure that you join this Telegram channel. The link for which is shown. on your screen this is the link and this link will will be available to you in the description box down in the description box and also if in case you are interested to join these series for example indian economy series or indian polity series indian history series in geography series or ncert series then you can check these links uh, the links uh, of uh, each series is given in the description box um, so you can check the description box below and can join using uh, these uh, these these links so friends this is all about today's video do ensure that you like Like it, share it with your friends, and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel. So, thank you, friends. Have a very nice day ahead.